What's up, folks, and welcome back to the channel today for another review. Now, today we're reviewing the film Sun, which is going to be releasing in theaters on demand and digitally March 5th. Now, if you have been a fan and a subscriber here, you know that I am a horror enthusiast. And if you aren't, then it's probably a good time for you to hit that subscribe button. That way you can catch up on all of my movie reviews. But yes, anything horror, I'm definitely going to peek my eyes out to say, like, hmm, let's see what that's about. And I, you know, read the synopsis, saw the trailer, definitely was interested. And I am going to say before I even get into this review any further that I was definitely unsatisfied by this. I felt like I had a lot of potential. Um, even the cast and whatnot, and it just didn't come together good. I thought that the resolution was kind of weak. I felt like the piecing of the plot was kind of thin, and I felt like the events throughout this film was super predictable. Like, the first five minutes at its max you're going to understand everything that's going on in this film to no surprise absolutely no surprise and it has nothing to do with the amount of films i watch i guarantee that anybody can figure out what's going on with this very easily and if you are surprised then hey more power to you maybe you might enjoy this a lot lot more but uh it just did not come together good for me very unsatisfying to me um with that being said, the worst things I like. Now, I'm going to start with the cast here. Luke David Blum, who is the eight-year-old kid, David, in this film. Um, I thought he was a standout, a really good performance by this kid because um, he is wearing a few different hats with his character. He's a happy kid, just, you know, just hanging out with his mom, having a good time. Uh, he uh, becomes sick. So there's moments where, you know, he has to portray that. Uh, and, you know, just throughout the different things that he's going through, I think he wears all of these hats really well, really um, having the viewers really invested into the different things that um, he's going through and making it very believable. At the same time, too, his mother, Andy uh, Millichalk, uh, Mittachalk, who is no stranger to the horror genre, who you have may have uh, seen in the Halloween franchise, too. I thought she does a good job as well, too, as being a distressed mother. Um, you know, I get to the what's going on with the plot in a second, but uh, I think that she compliments everything that her son is going through as well. And really, again, uh, bringing in the viewers on for the ride. And I, again, regardless of what's happening in the film, I thought that their performances really stood out. And then you have Emil Hirsch, who is the cop here. This role as a cop is nothing that you have not seen before. It is in like in all horror films where there's a cop. It's the cop who gets too close to the case, so invested into it. At times, you may even question, is there even a relationship between him? And uh, this is no different. But even with that being said, his performance was no drop off to anyone else's. So I thought that all of your main cast members all complimented it very well and was definitely some of the bright spots in this film. Also would say, too, that uh, the uh, uh, makeup, FX design, all of that, uh, even in regards to like the blood splatter, all done really, really well. Uh, you know, the little boy, at the times where he's sick, it looks crazy. It really does. It's a really good job in how they did that. Um, so, you know, definitely another bright spot in this film. But I can't trust enough. I'm just unsatisfied with how the plot and everything all came together. It just was flimsy at times. And at times, it just felt like the movie was dragging and you know even at the final the final moments of this film the the the, the final phase it just was just underwhelming it just really um it, it wasn't it just wasn't enough to just be satisfied enough to go back and say like i, I like this film enough to go and tell people like definitely go check this out because it just was just unsatisfying and i think that you know if i had to want more i think i, I definitely would have wanted it, it to be a lot less predictable and I also think that um, maybe even a purpose of everything with a, and, and bringing everything all together, the different elements and stuff that the, the story introduces, bringing it all together so that it all kind of makes sense more. Because there was a lot of things that this kind of was a head scratcher. You kind of wonder what was the purpose and even some of the things that did get answers to at the very last moment. Like it was so predictable. So it was like, you know, it was just all over the place for me. I just wasn't I just wasn't totally satisfied with it. Um 
But with that being said, because I still haven't even mentioned what's going on in this film, rambling so long, uh, you have Laura, the mother here, who uh, one night she goes to her son's bedroom. She hears something, and lo and behold, there is a whole herd of people in her son's room, and this sends her into a frenzy. And not only that, after this intrusion, her son falls ill, and they don't know why, they have no clue what's going on, but immediately he gets better at some point. And now she's stuck between trying to figure out what happened to him, trying to protect him, and also the dangers of her past are all catching up to her. So there's a lot going on, and she it, it, ultimately it has her to leave her home on the run, trying to do whatever she can to protect her son, protect herself, and figure out all the different things that are going on. So um, yeah. Ultimately, it's about a mother who goes to desperate measures in order to protect her son by any means. So, and there's also a demonic factor added to this. So, yeah. But other than that, I, you know, son, I, I again, this is a film that, you know, maybe you want to check out. If it interests you, definitely do so. Let me know in the comments what you thought about it. I was underwhelmed. It was very predictable. I think I would have appreciated it a lot more considering how good of a performance the cast members were. Uh, they 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 put on and you know again it's not like you have to recreate the real when it comes to some of these films but I thought that you know doing something to make this unique or stand out a, a, a side of things uh, would have been a lot more appreciated and you know thus then you know this gives the it gives it the factor of saying like hey this is definitely worth checking out so but anyway folks it comes out March fifth on demand digitally. And in theaters, let me know in the comments what you think. And uh, thank you for watching my review. And I'll catch you all very soon.